At five is the Canon EOS 450D, which I tested in Cairo with supermodel and photographer Helena Christensen. I always think the sort of ultimate goal is to try and tell a whole story within one frame of a picture. Well, actually, this sums it up quite well. A camel, a cobra, palm tree, we're in Cairo. The EOS 450D is a light and easy to use digital SLR, which offers lots of great features. Canon have improved the quality of the standard kit lens and given it image stabilization, plus the superb battery life and fast autofocus. At four is the Sony Reader, which I tested with actor Nigel Havers. Happy to see you. Happy to see you. E-books are computers that store hundreds of electronic books and have displays that resemble paper using a material called e-ink. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art? The Romeo. It's such a lovely design and so mm. sort of cool. I think it's a very, very cool bit of kit. Yeah. You know, to give me this as a present is oh, really... Well, I, no, no, it, no, really, no, seriously, you shouldn't have done. But thank you very much. It's been right. very, been lovely. Thank you so much. Bye. <clears throat> oh, thank you. At three is the new iPod Touch, our favourite portable media player, which I tried out with Radio 1 DJ Scott Mills. Its sound quality didn't massively impress us. I've heard better and I've heard worse. <laughs> what? <laughs> but the screen was lovely for watching video. For something quite small, yeah. you could watch that on a plane or whatever. And we loved the fact that via Wi-Fi you can purchase your music directly. And buy now. Buy now. Mm. There it is. I just like the way it feels. Aesthetically, it's really nice. It's very easy to, to use. Even though the sound quality isn't brilliant, I, I'll sacrifice it for that. And even though it doesn't actually have a radio. Well, the thing is, I'm, I'm obviously the best thing on anyway, and I can't listen to myself, so that doesn't really bother me, John. I get the feeling you don't quite mean that. Nah. <laughs> At two is the Asus EPC, which in 2008 created a whole new gadget genre, the netbook. I tested it with comedian Tony Hawks, author of Round Island with a Fridge, and he brought his fridge with him. The fridge has had a fantastic time. At around £200, it's a highly portable Wi-Fi-enabled computer with 1.6 gigahertz of processing power and a 4 gigabyte solid-state hard disk. It's just cheap, so I could lose about six of them. <laughs> and it includes all the software you need to record your own video blog on its built-in webcam. Here we are in London's Trafalgar Square with a huge phallic symbol between us. <laughs> But at number one is my favourite compact digital camera, the Panasonic Lumix TZ5, which I took to the European Snowboarding Championships in Finland. I never thought I'd find face recognition useful on a camera, really, but it's certainly proving handy on this Panasonic in these conditions, because if you switch the focus onto face detection, it actually focuses on the faces rather than the snow. The Panasonic has lots of video options. It's got widescreen, high definition even, and you can zoom in and out while you're filming. Also, you can access all the options very easily using this quick menu. The TZ5 is an extremely accomplished compact camera. It has a superb 10 times optical zoom and an excellent LCD screen. This is currently the best all-round compact camera you can buy.